see Saturday this farmer's market, you will not be able to grab your hot and spicy cheese bread on the square tomorrow. That sounds very yummy right now. <laughs> That's because the usual farmer's market vendors are being replaced by artists from across America for Art Fair on the Square. Christina Lori is getting a preview of what you can expect this weekend. Good morning, Christina. Good morning, Josh and Leah, and this is about the only weekend of the year you won't hear me complaining about not being able to get my hot and spicy cheese bread right here on this, this corner. That's because I also love Art Fair on the Square. It draws an estimated 200,000 people downtown Madison and brings in millions to the local economy. Here to talk about that this morning is Erica from the Art Museum. Thank you so much for coming out here. So what can people expect if they come out here to Art Fair on the Square? Well, first of all, they'll see nearly 500 artists arranged around the square, and they'll be showing all kinds of artwork from photography to sculpture, abstract art to portraits. So there's really a lot of high quality art and fine craft to see around the square this weekend. And let's talk about price point so people know how much money maybe to bring or not bring. What, what is there? Well, there's really a wide range. So whatever you're comfortable spending, you'll find something to love around the square this weekend. So you might find that there's a mug that you really love and you want to have that little handmade thing that brightens up your morning or a big statement piece of artwork that you want to spend a little bit more from. So there's really a wide variety. Even artists who are doing paintings and photography often have prints that are smaller that you can bring home. That's so great. Something for everyone. And while it's fun for us, it's a fundraiser for your museum. Can we talk about that? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. I mean, it's a wonderful event. It's super fun, as you know, but it's our largest fundraiser of the year. So the Madison Museum of Contemporary Art, right down the street on State Street, is a free, independent, nonprofit art museum. And we really rely on Art Fair on the Square to keep the doors open all year, admission free, and we serve nearly half a million people at the museum and around Dane County with our art experiences. And that museum is the beautiful one that's all glass that you would probably watch walked by a bunch of times. Yeah. Um, so one quick last pitch. If someone at home is watching this and is it sure if they want to come out to Art Fair on the Square, what would you say to them? You have to come and experience it. Even if you think, oh, I don't know if I want to get outside and be downtown in the heat, come in the morning when it's not so hot. There's art, there's food, there's performances, dance, and music. There's really a wonderful array of things that you can experience this weekend. Thank you so much for talking to us. So we're going to keep you out here. So we'll talk to you again at 6 and 6.30. You won't be able to get enough of Erica. And you won't want to because Art Fair on the Square, it's a fantastic event. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll also learn about Art Fair off the Square. And a reminder, if you come out to the Square this weekend and you're searching for your farmer's market favorites, maybe you're looking for that Stella's Hot and Spicy Cheese Bread, just know it's down the street at Bree Stevens Field this weekend only. All right, Christina. So is your plan to go to Bree Stevens first, pick up the hot and spicy cheesy bread, and then come back? back to the Capitol Square and do our fair on the square? You know me. Strategy. <laughs> Strategy. You gotta fill up on the food first. <laughs> gotta be filling your, yeah, gotta breakfast. Gotta have that energy. <laughs> Love it. Christina Laurie reporting for us this morning. Thank you, Christina. So there are a lot of other things going on in Madison as well, and one of them is already underway. Fat Day Marquette kicked off yesterday with plenty of food.